Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to be taking a look at this Nightcore Tiki uh, keychain light that was very kindly sent to me by Man Venture. I will put some links to their Amazon store, their Instagram, their Twitter and their LinkedIn pages in the descriptive text down below. So please go along, use those links to check the company out. Okay, so as you can see this is a very small little keyring flashlight. There's several interesting features to it. Um, instructions are on the back of the uh, card here. Uh, it's not that difficult to use, so I think you can more or less use it without uh, looking at the instructions. But they're there anyway. Let's get it out and take a look at it. This is a very compact flashlight. It's got a little uh, carabiner so you can clip it onto your keychain. It's quite a strong clip as well. Uh, there's two versions of this little fellow actually but um, Manventure sell this particular version. We have a uh, standard LED in the bottom here and this one and is an Osram P8 LED. We also have uh, two smaller LEDs on the back here. Got a little white one there and we also have a little UV one just here. It is rechargeable, as I'm sure you can see just here. You have a little um, recharging port, which is a micro USB, so you can uh, charge it if I can get into it, that is. You can charge it with your standard phone charge data lead, no bother there at all. Uh, let's have a look. I believe it's also waterproof to um, IP66. Um, it's impact resistance to one meter drop. Maximum distance on the beam is apparently seven meters. Maximum intensity is 1,260 CDs. 300, lo 300 lumens. How much does it weigh? Put it on the scales. Well, we have half an ounce or 15 grams. It measures in at 55 millimeters long or a two and an eighth if you like. The head diameter is 14 millimeters. All functions of this little flashlight are controlled by this single switch right here. Press and hold for full power. Release it, switch it off again. Double click switches on uh, moonlight mode. Another click again is the second power setting. We have a third power setting and then we have flat out again. Press it again back down to moonlight mode. Long press off. To access the other two LEDs here we triple click one two three and we're on to UV. The UV setting there. Click it again. We have handy little uh, white LED there. Press it again. Beacon. Long press off again. Now even in the studio here with all the lights on this thing if you press and hold as you can see it is quite bright. Let's double click it. Okay so we're into a uh, moonlight mode at the moment. You can't see that in the doors. Let's give it another click. There you go, you can see that one in here. Third setting. And back to full power too. Okay, so I've got all the lights out in the studio now. Just daylight coming in through the window. Right, and there we are. There's the uh, little secondary LED shining away there. And it will freestand by itself. So it would make a handy little um, ambient light there if you're camping or whatever, whatever you want to do with the thing. Probably handy in a car boot or in a car. See, it's quite bright. Quite handy. Charging is easily accomplished by opening the little rubber flap on this side of the uh, flashlight, revealing the uh, micro USB slot. And we plug in our um, micro USB like so and it starts charging. Let's take a look what the UV LED can do. Some plastic here. 
mix it glow quite nicely. In my little um, key, key ring here, lights up like nobody's business. Move it away again, just lights up. Nice. Can we do anything with money with the little UV light? Let's have a look. Yes, there's something in the corner there. Look, I don't know if you can see that on the. Uh, might be just about see that, but there's something glowing away in the corner there. Like uh, little white stains all over the note as part of the uh, anti-counterfeit uh, markings. Just about to see those all lighting up, can't you? There we go. And of course there's this beacon mode. Um, you can see this quite well out in the daytime too, so uh, let's take it out in, in a couple of places in the garden in the daylight and take a look at it. And of course, that will show up even better in the dark. So uh, let's take it outside in the dark and see what we can do with this little uh, Nightcore Tiki. Okay, so here we are outside in the dark with the uh, little Nightcore Tiki. So let's switch over to normal mode because you can see up the garden quite nicely in uh, infrared. All right, let's uh, get on to normal mode. That's better. You can just about see the uh, flashlight here. Um, all right, so there's the uh, ultra low mode. What can we see? Just about see my hand there. We can't see up the garden at all though. Let's try the low mode. That's a bit better. Let's be a bit closer to the camera there. Okay. There we go, 300 lumens. Look at that. Fills the garden quite nicely. And it doesn't do too bad a job illuminating the trees up look, either. Pretty neat. And here we can see the, uh, the little small white LED uh, illuminating a snail quite nicely. What's the beacon like? Well, here it is flashing at exactly the same distance as we saw in the daylight. Okay then, what a useful little flashlight this is. I do like my flashlights, I have to say. Um, this one will be going onto my uh, car keys. I've already got a Nightcore on there, but I think I'm going to swap it out with this one because it's got extra features. Let's say we've got a um, moonlight feature there. And three other settings, off. We've got uh, long press for permanently on, which is useful. And then we have the other two LEDs there, so you can, you know, for uh, checking counterfeit, checking for counterfeit money, etc. And the other LED, the white one, which you can, you know, just stand on the uh, bezel like so and use it for ambient lighting if you're out camping, or uh, maybe you're doing some work under the bonnet of a car or something at night. Should come in handy for that too. And of course we have the. Um, Beacon, especially if your car stopped by the side of the road, you could st st stand this on the roof of the car and it would give a nice little flash, as you can see. So you should alert people to the fact that you're there. Now this thing appears to be very well constructed. Um, it looks like the body is a uh, one piece, moulding by the looks of it. Very strongly made. I don't know if you could break it by standing on it, probably not. But uh, it should, uh, obviously being a keychain, it, it would have to stand up to being dropped and bashed around by keys or what have you and it certainly I think it certainly will last 
for quite some time. Now you can see the battery in there too, look. The PCB, the two LEDs, all the workings in there. Quite like it. I'd like to say, I'd like to thank um, Manventure for sending it in once again. Uh, and once again guys, I will put all their links in the descriptive text down below. Um, I'll put you a link to the uh, Amazon shop page of this little fellow. So you just click on that link, go along, make your purchase from Manventure. I'm always proud to support British business. Manventure is a British company, so thank you very much guys for sending this in. Um, very pleased to support you. The Nightcore Tiki from Manventure. What a superb little flashlight. Clips on your keyring. You can easily take it off your keyring very easily with a little um, carabiner here. And it's a very strong spring on there too. It's not going to come off accidentally. It's got a very strong little mount just here too. I'm not going to lose this in a great deal of hurry, I wouldn't have thought, guys. And as you can see, it is particularly small as well. So it'll hang on your keychain very nicely. Okay then, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review of the uh, Nightcore Tiki. This is, as I say, is the one with the um, UV LED in it. And it's sent to me by Manventure. So uh, thanks again, Manventure, for sending it out. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed the review. Please let me know if you use one of these or uh, what other keychain light you use, what you find handy. Um, as I say, I've been running a Nightcore tube on my car keys for a few years now, and I think it's about time I swapped it out for this little fellow right here. Because this is, uh, in my opinion, very nice indeed. I like this a lot. Okay then, guys. Thanks for popping over to Rathbone Manor. Thanks for taking a look at the uh, Nightcore Tiki here. Please check out Manventure from all my links in the descriptive text down below. That's their Amazon store, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn accounts too. Please take, check them out via my links. Thank you very much guys. Thank you very much to Manventure once again. Thanks for popping over to Rathbone Manor and taking a look at the uh, little flashlight here. And I will catch you another time then. See you later. Stay safe, everyone.